What are you grateful for? I know that sometimes seems to be an, an old question, but I truly am grateful this year, even in the middle of a time that's really, really tough. I'm Dr. Carol. Thank you for being here. I want to share with you five unusual things that I am grateful for this year. I think perhaps in seeing that you may find some things that you can be grateful for as well. We know from scientific research that a short period of gratitude, just say three minutes in the morning, raises your mood all day. Keeping a gratitude journal for a few weeks dramatically changes physical and emotional and relational well-being. I was just talking with a friend today who said that in a relationship, such as with your spouse, that having grateful, positive thoughts about the relationship changes the dynamics of the relationship. So, especially when we are all struggling under the weight of really trouble right now, the COVID-19 season, a recent contentious election season, and just all the stuff that's going on, taking time to be grateful. It's, it's more important than ever. So the first thing I'm grateful for is that we have the ability to think and choose. No, we can't choose everything. We can't change many of the circumstances out, outside in, in our world, but we do have the ability to think and choose. And our thoughts, our actions make a difference. They may not change everything, but they can change much. And when I see that I can choose uh, that my action, how to respond to something and that that makes a difference in my world, I'm grateful for that. We live in a country, I live here in the United States, th those of us who do, where our choices do impact much of our well-being in the world. Not everything, but the things that I choose to think and do make a difference. And for that, I am grateful. I heard from a young woman who I've been corresponding with from India, very, very difficult circumstances. And we've been communicating about some of these things and she wrote this. She said, I realize that I always tend to play the victim. I want somebody to sympathize with me. But this time I've decided to face it and deal with it. What happened to me is in the past. I can't bring it back, but I am responsible for the present and the future. I'm grateful that our choices make a difference. The second thing I'm grateful for is people who care. Now, there are people who don't care, but when somebody expresses a, a moment of connection or of gratitude or of love, or of tenderness, I'm grateful for that. And I, I notice that because I look for it. Noticing those kinds of moments of care, it nourishes me. And I'm sure, even in your, even if you're isolated in the middle of this COVID-19 season, whatever the details of, of where you are, there are people who care. Look for them. I'm reminded of Mr. Rogers, who said how his mother would tell him when they would see news about a tragedy, she would tell him, look for the helpers. There are helpers and I'm grateful for them. In my own personal world here in Dr. Carol Ministries, I am so grateful for the, the team, the, the few individuals who are working with me to bring things like this to you and I am grateful for them. I'm grateful for those who have chosen to donate to Dr. Carol Ministries. Stephen wrote this. He said, you present the simple message of God's grace in a beautiful and easily understood way. I know your ministry will bring healing and deliverance to many. That's why I decided to partner with you in bringing Christ's message to many who so desperately need to hear it. Someone who cares. And I'm grateful for that. If you'd like to donate, you can do so. DrCarolMinistries.com slash give.
The third thing I'm grateful for is moments of beauty. There is so much dark in our world that when there is something beautiful, I treasure that. In my backyard is a beautiful oak tree. It's a place of beauty. And when I can go out there and enjoy that for a moment, it nourishes me. Music, uh, beautiful music does something to the soul, either listening or singing or playing, being, being involved in music, things that are beautiful. And I just want to encourage you in this Thanksgiving season, for all the dark and all the trouble, look for moments of beauty and treasure those. The fourth thing I'm grateful for is for people to help. I have been thinking recently how sad and even tragic it would be if there was nobody there who needed something that, that I could provide. That it would be so much less meaningful. The fact that there are people I can help does bring so much meaning to what God has given me and, and who I have become. I hear from people around the world who are in really desperate situations, a broken marriage, a really sad depression, uh, addicted to pornography, uh, a whole slew of very uh, real problems. And I am blessed to be able to speak into their lives in some way. Uh, maybe with a, a video like this or a podcast or our, our website or a book or a devotional series or a Breakthrough Prayers course, just so many of the things that I am privileged to make available because there are people to help. I know that there are people in your world that need help as well. There is very little that will raise your spirits more than reaching out and helping someone else. One of the uh, ladies who went through our powerful Breakthrough Prayers course said in this, she said, I realized after learning to pray this way that I had been a Martha on the inside. It was always noisy in my soul. Now, so much more often, I am just being with Jesus. Jesus is expanding on the inside of me. Oh, to, to know that Jesus is expanding on the inside of someone and that I was privileged to have a part in helping that come to be. What, what a privilege. And by the way, if you'd like to connect with that course, PowerfulBreakthroughPrayers.com PowerfulBreakthroughPrayers.com The fifth thing I am grateful for is that we know the end of the story. This is not as good as it gets. And we don't have to wonder about what the end will be. There is so much turmoil going on in our world, and that is real. But we know that that is not all of the truth. God is still God. He is not surprised by anything that has been happening in our world or in our individual lives. His blood pressure has not been raised one bit by any of this. He is still there. And we know that at the end, God will make everything right. He will not stop until everything is made right in your life and in our world. I am grateful for that. I am grateful that we know the end of the story. Spoiler alert, Jesus wins. So, I am celebrating Thanksgiving this year. Yes, it looks a bit different than the family gatherings and events from other years, but I am grateful and I am choosing to focus on that. I would invite you to be grateful as well. There is much to be thankful for and God bless you.